consider me your teacher okay and it's monday what you don't know about your teacher is that teachers have long weekends and they tell you that it's because they're grading papers but it's because they're out at blue martini okay they're at seven c's living it up not thinking about y'all kids okay but just kidding my name is dolly and i am here because we are going to get into some educational content in this year and um i'm heavy on the come as you are i'm tired but if i have a cup of coffee cup of coffee, if i have a cup of coffee is look i'm gonna pass out so you may have seen my instagram where i'm doing a lot of um you see unpopular opinions or i may not have done it yet um, but a lot of marketing tips for small businesses. So what I do is I am the middleman between the brands and the creators, And specifically creators that have experience are authentic and actually want to make this some type of sustainable career while at the same time understanding that this is for the brands, for the brand owner who is an actual person and really has a dream, right? So you all have seen me complain about my dislike for the UGC community, right? And that's just simply because, like I said, you don't understand what UGC even is. And to come around and try to change the definition of something that's honestly a very beautiful marketing strategy is actually disgusting. So that's why I'm here because this year i do intend on repairing that fourth wall and bridging the gap um like i've said many times i'm i'm gonna be me okay i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do me okay my husband and i are content creators we work at all various hours of the night we do so many different things so you hear him in the background you hear him but what am i doing giving you information so this is what we're gonna do okay we're bringing back authenticity in 2024 why because it's just important we need to understand what we're even doing and if it's coming down to us over the brands then we have to figure out what we're doing with our brand then right so let's just go into a couple of unpopular UGC opinions i'm going to do three so in this video i'm just going to go through three of them um i have quite a few to be honest so this will be about a, about a series it will definitely be a series about this because i have quite a few so first you don't need social sites to do UGC. A thousand percent. Okay. Now, when somebody is telling you, hey, to do UGC, you need to make a whole new portfolio. You need to make a whole profile. You need to do all this, all this stuff involving building a platform for yourself. And they're telling you this is called personal branding. Understand that you are building a personal brand. So like I just said, that's why I said that if you didn't understand so when it comes down to you or the brand, who's who are we doing this for? Are we doing it for the brand or are you the brand? Main thing is understanding who who are we all doing this for? Okay. And that that kind of lays into that too. If you're coming on here doing this and you listen to somebody, understand that you're going to be listening to them for a long time and they're going to stop you at a certain point. And you're going to have a lot of questions and that's most likely why you clicked on this video it's because you now have questions that are going unanswered and it's because this whole community is really ran by people that don't even know what they're doing so do you need social sites to do ugc absolutely not you need to place yourself on platforms where people and brands are actively seeking content creators for their businesses if you're not in this for a selfish reason, if you're not in this for yourself, if you're in this to genuinely help brands and be compensated for the work and the time and the effort that you're putting into this, then platforms or places like LinkedIn, Upwork, Fiverr, all of these different things that you can literally Google to go online and see where your services are needed, okay? Understand that you're a service provider and you're not an influencer. So there's no need for you to build a personal brand to then be able to showcase to brands to uh, you know if you need more help on that and understanding what personal branding is definitely comment down below and i'll let you know number two ageism exists okay ugc this type of ugc this ugc is gen z it's trendy it's aesthetic it's high like it's just it's the cuteness the 2022 
the 2024 type of UGC in that way that it's marketed in influencer marketing and social media marketing is ageism. It's Gen Z. A lot of these brands and a lot of the coaches and stuff that are telling you about people that are hiring are telling you about brands that are Gen Z focused. So that's why you feel out of place. That's why you feel like you don't know what you're doing because you're simply not reaching out to brands that need you. You're not reaching out to brands that are your age demographic. You're not thinking about that little aspect of it. So it's not that UGC has a cutoff time. It's not like, oh, it's only for people that are under 30 or, you know, things like that. It's about being able to work with businesses that relate to you, your life, your audience, the people that would typically watch you, the things that you would typically search for online, those type of things. Like if you're in your 30s and you work out or just anything involved in anything about being a little bit older in life, arthritis, search arthritis online, all those type of arthritis creams and medications and stuff. That's the businesses that you need to be reaching out to. Like that little bit of thought will let you know that there is a space for you in this content creator world. But as far as UGC, ageism is definitely a factor in actual UGC because they don't even know what it is. So it's like a trend. And with this trend, they're using this word to then get a certain group of creators to make content, which would be those that have no financial responsibilities or lack thereof meaning that I am a wife and a mother. So I have a greater responsibility than your average content creator. So I'm going to require a little bit more. I'm going to, I am going to require more, you know, but at the same time, I am in a position to require more because I can do more. So that's just a whole different situation on the content side. But as far as the way that brands are trying to go about this particular circle, they're categorizing UGC in a Gen Z manner because they know that you all are just experimenting with life right now and that you're okay with the opportunity to just experiment and see how things go or you know just try it out and see what happens like you know I feel like I'm rushing but I don't know why I feel like I have to rush I'm sorry moving forward I won't rush so much but I kind of feel like I have to rush I'm just having like a long day already but it's like nine o'clock in the morning I've been up for a long time but um Let's get into the last one. Majority of your followers are UGC creators, a thousand percent. So when I first started my UGC page, that is no longer up because it was the biggest headache of my entire life. And I, I, I really want you to understand what I mean by that. Like, I'm not trying to be like the mean girl or whatever. No, I'm a woman, first of all, but um, I'm not trying to be like that. Once you realize the page that you just created for yourself and how I said in number one that you didn't even need in the first place, you'll realize how much of a headache that you literally created for yourself based off of somebody telling you that this is what you're supposed to be doing. And it's really not. Okay, please understand, like walk with me. So now that you have this page and you think that these people like you and you think that this engagement is real and you you think that right and it's like trust me it's like you're building these these communities you're building these conversations you're talking to people you're realizing that people like you for you you're realizing your content's great all this stuff right but i'm just letting you know that in all actuality you don't have a thousand followers like you don't have these these numbers and even when these girls sometimes i've seen a couple of people who their pages have gotten hacked right and they come back and the, of course the numbers are not going to hit the same and it's because of a lot of reasons okay and it's not about people really not liking you like i said you find the people that like you your content like you for you all that type of stuff right but at the end of the day comments get less likes get less the interactions get less and you start to realize that people are simply not logging into their accounts anymore and then you realize how these people were never really here for you. They were never really here. They came here because somebody told them that there was something here. Not that they said it was for them. They said that there's something here and that you could have it if you want it. So everybody said, let me go see what it is and how I can get it. And some people said, this is too much. Some people said, I got a little bit and I don't really like how I got it. Some people said, oh, that's it and that was it uh, there's so many different factors or honestly simply just life some creators they make these pages they're really good and then honestly life hits them like real life hits them there's so many different factors as to why 
your actual UGC audience, the community really doesn't matter. It doesn't really serve you a purpose aside from understanding that coming into it, you should focus and try to build connections with people that you would genuinely follow outside of UGC. If you genuinely would look at their content and be like, I would like this, then you follow them. Or if you have spoken to people and you really feel a genuine connection with them, keep them around just for the sake of being in their creator journey. Not necessarily their UGC career, but their journey itself. And for myself, one of the women that I connected with, I saw one of her viral mom, like funny videos on like Instagram or TikTok, like last year before I ever even saw her or spoke to her. And um, cause I have sciatica. So she did like this leg thing and it was really viral and I saw it. And then when I saw her in the community, I was like, wait a minute. Hi, how are you? My name is Dolly. Like that's the connection that I built. She's such a beautiful and amazing woman. And like, it's, it's just stuff like that. You know what I mean? The community is great for getting those relationships with genuine creators that you kind of probably didn't think that you could be friends with. I know that there are a couple people that have seen my content and they'll tell me and they'll talk to me like they are a fan or they'll say I am a fan of your work and I'm like, hi friend. Hey, because didn't we come from the same space? Like a lot of the people that see my content now, you didn't know me before UGC and you probably weren't going to know me, but I'm not even in the community anymore and you're still around it's because you saw through my UGC content, who I was as a person, you saw who I was and I never hid that. I always came onto it showing myself because I want to show people and brands who I am and that being authentic is a way of generating an audience for your brand, generating customers for your business, generating traffic and sales to your website, all that, you know, being yourself and just not having a worry about what people are really thinking about you. I came into a very not cookie cutter for that reason, because I wanted to show people that at one point in time, we're going to get to a point where everybody sees the difference, where everybody sees that, that side, that fine line, and there's not going to be any separating it. And I don't want to call anybody out or call people out in this video, but it's very distasting when you see people in the community create these pages and then they do the whole like aesthetic scene five times in a video and write a different caption about UGC on it or do the screenshots of the money and stuff and say this is how much I made with UGC. I really want to let you know as I'm ending this video that nobody cares because you making lastly $40,000 from UGC did not put one one drop of milk in any of our children's cups it did not put one dollar one quarter towards any pack of swishers that i bought last year so i don't care how much money you made i really don't what i want to know is is this legit is this for real how do i do it am i gonna have a hard time how long is it going to take me? Do I need to put money into it? People want to know the real, and I'm going to let you know. And in exchange, I just want you to accept me as I am because God said, come as you are like for real. So no, but other than that, I gotta go. I'm hungry and I'm like unorganizingly doing a lot. <laughs> like I'm out here, but like unorganized. Okay. So yeah, let me get my life together. I'll be back with some more videos and I'm just going to be busting them out. Make sure you're subscribed. I am not a perfect influencer. I am just a person that grew up as a millennial and I live online and I like it here. So I'm here. But yes, if you love this and you enjoy it, you think somebody else can learn from it, go ahead and share this video. Check out my website, dollyprada.com, where I have tons of articles and things to help small business owners business owners of all sizes honestly as well as content creators lots of articles over there and i have more things coming as well as our emag 
all the world's ills emag if you want to add space in there want to market yourself as a creator to other businesses because i have tons of small businesses following me that's like my speciality so if you want to actually put an ad in for yourself as a creator in the magazine you should do that because you are a service provider so there you go also hit me up on instagram at content creator corner or no that was the name why did i keep saying that and i should, should i have changed the name back to that content creators corner no because somebody else had that name so i couldn't anyway yeah so i saw this post the other day that said if you see me talking to myself i'm a small business owner so i'm having a meeting because that was that's what that means staff meeting are we going to change the name or not because it rolls off the tongue anyway um so <laughs> hit me up at creator generated content on instagram or at dolly prada i don't know why i have to I am trying to figure out if the reach is better on one page than the other or combined. So ever experimenting over here. That's how you know that my news is factual because I am always experimenting. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with someone that you think needs it. Share it on LinkedIn, Facebook, the places where it really matters. Thanks. <laughs> and I love you all so much. Have a blessed day.